I don't have a good feeling from the Harpers here in Athkatwa. Jahira and Khalid were, are, very nice people, and I can understand why my father adventured with them. He was a Harper as well. But the three of these people are nothing like the uncaring group I have met here so far. On top of that, they used us to get to and kill Zar, the Necromancer and Zentarum agent. I suppose that means that Montron is dead as well? These were two people that I had met on the road shortly after meeting up with Imowen, right after the night my father died. I didn't get a good feeling about them then, and I will not shed a tear about their deaths now. Necromancers, Zentarum, these are evil people. Still, it doesn't feel good to be tricked like that to further their ends, especially with Jahira, a harper in my group. About Jahira, I've been a bit of an idiot when it comes to her. I know she was pushy when we first met, and I got to know her a bit. I regret not having her and Khalid along with me while we destroyed the Iron Throne in Saravak. Either Jahira is calm somewhat, or I have come to look upon her as a friend. No, more like the aunt she acts like. I would have her by my side to the end, so long as we have need of a group. She's becoming a treasured mentor, and she is invaluable to how our group works, with her druid powers and her skills as a fighter. In fact, since escaping Arenicus' dungeon, I often look up to her as a model for myself, and I didn't even realize it until just now. I said I would return, and I have. Well, good. Good to see you back, Jahira. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but there were things that I had to take care of. Now that we have met once again, there is something I must ask of you. We must go. We must go to the Harper Hold in Athkatla. I have been asked to bring you, and we must go soon. They will allow us to pass the wards of the door. But I must be with you, and I must be conscious. Okay. I will follow you if you deem it necessary. Welcome back, by the way. Thank you. I'm glad to be back in your company. I only wish it were not under such circumstances. Come, we must go. I will explain more when it is time. And I think you should have this necklace back. Certainly. Well, I'm listening. it got dark while we were resting. Back to the Harper Hold, okay. The courtesans have come out. Reminds me of Baldur's Gate, actually. Good day to you. Jahira, my dear. It is good to see you. Your welcome is forced, Galvari. You know I am here at the bidding of the Herald. Why have you come to greet me? This is too important to waste time on you. Ah, I know well the importance of this. It was I that called you. You? You are no Herald. What is going on here? This area lacks a herald currently, and I seek to establish one. You will help by doing what's right. You know what is right, don't you? I know you are an ambitious fool. You cannot be sanctioned to do this. Even this gouty base is against our usual restraint. The position of herald requires... A herald requires the will to establish the position. The high heralds will judge it if it is deserved. Really, Jahira, this is a matter aside. You know this. Fine. Set about with your questions so I can get on with my job as well. Very good. You serve the greater cause that we all do. Now then, Orn, do you know why you are here? Oh. Uh. I would assume this is about the destruction in Joaquin's promenade. I assure you that it was not my doing. Ah, but it was, indirectly. Things like this seem to surround you at every turn, even if you are not the active participant. That is why you are here. Let me ask you a few things straight away, Orn. Nothing too intrusive, I assure you. What are your earliest memories? Are they happy ones? Huh. Do you have a reason for intruding on my private thoughts? I should like to hear it. Are you always this uncooperative? Yes, I suppose you would be. Basic nature to be objectionable. Not good. Next question. But I haven't even had a chance to answer it. Won't you answer mine? As a child of all, have you violent thoughts? <laughs> so this is all about being a child of all. 
No more than the next person. I use violence where I must and avoid it when I can. Hmm. Must use violence to be expected from one with such a despicable heritage. You are twisting her words, Galvari. That is not what she meant. Deception is woven into her very being, Jahira. Can you comprehend the thoughts of an illithid or a beholder? Your Orin is akin to these. No, I am not. Only in your mind. This is a farce. The questions will continue nonetheless. I do hope there will be no further outbursts. Now then, Orin, what is your favorite color? What has that to do with anything? Jahira, I question your loyalty to our cause. My method will become clear in the end. I ask again, Orin, what is your favorite color? Stop this insane questioning. You are twisting her words. No more interruptions. Is it too much to ask for her to answer a question about her favorite color? Green is my preference, if you must know. Green, jealousy, or the gangrenous limb. And also of the grass or the leaves in the trees. You are so intent on seeing what you wish, the answer does not matter. I suppose in part it does not matter. Obviously, this person causes much disturbance where she goes. My interview is just to clarify the matter. But you were to see Orin as she is, not as you expected her to be. I was to bring her here so... You were to bring her here so that we might have her here, nothing more. The course of action was always clear. Excuse me, but I am still in the room. What is it you intend? Indeed, Galvari. What is it you intend? This is not as we had discussed. No, but you only needed to know enough to bring him here. Extraneous information would have endangered the mission. As Harpers, we... As Harpers, we respect others. We have a greater duty to maintain the balance. How can you, as a Harper, as a Druid, sanction the freedom of this person? What will she do to the balance? And what if she will restore the balance? What if her intent is good? It is simply not worth the risk. No, there is no choice in the matter. Orin, you are to be... confined. It is as good as death, and you know it, Galvari. Nothing so barbaric. Imprisonment to contain the chaos she might sow, either intentionally or unwittingly. It is a humane solution. And where am I to be locked away? I hope some place with a view. No, Orin. I mean the spell imprisonment. You will find yourself in a small container, a few leagues under the earth. Quite peaceful. Imprison Lady Orin? I will never allow such a thing. You've no right to do this, I will not allow it. You have no voice here, and little choice in the matter. Certainly you can fight, but there are six harpers to contend with. The odds are quite clearly, nay, Galvari, there is but you and your four lackeys. I will have no part in this. Orin, you are my comrade in arms. I know you are good and true in heart. I will fight with you against this. You've made a mistake, Jahira. With her imprisonment, I could get sponsored as Herald. But now you fight the harpers with this monster? Harpers may interfere, but it is for the greater good. Not this! I don't know you! <laughs> I did not expect this outcome at all. Okay, so two mages. One rogue, and looks like two fighters in the center. Mage is down, almost down, down. I have to concentrate on this other mage. My arrows are hurting. Jantus. Yes. Great fun. Right, boo. Oh, Jantus is being backstabbed. Okay. I'll help however I can. That didn't help, of course. Yeah, 
down I don't take pleasure in doing this it will be done are they all down speak <sighs> certainly well <laughs> I think it's time you could use that uh, Shazalim it may not be it may be an anti harper sword actually you could have used it to kill these harpers there's lots of items on the ground here though Jahira cannot. Well, she can. She, she should be able to cast her spell. She has that vocalized ability on the sword. All right. Let's. Clean up. Well, now that this has Without been done, doubt. I don't feel like going up to the top floor, but I have no qualms about taking anything from this room over here. These rooms. I did see healing potions in here. I can definitely use that. Books. Curious to know what's behind this trap. Yoshimo is willing. Some kind of helmet. We'll have to identify it. Quickly and precisely. Uh, spell. Come on, come on. Let's go whack something evil. Spell scroll. There's a lot of things to identify, actually. Well, that would be it. Let's get out of here. I'm so glad you're not like the other Harpers, Jahira. You must gather your party before To me, they seem forth. quite evil, actually. Without self serving hesitation. evil. But I realize that everybody's their own person, not everybody is the same at every group. Hello. Stay back, or you'll regret it. Care to be trying your strength against out against a dwarf eye? I? I bet I could be taking ye, but easy. I I thought that you actually were vending something. There was somebody here, earlier. I guess they left. Okay, so where's Mavar's guild hall? This one here? I'm not happy to be out at night. I don't really want to go out in the city at night because of the vampires. This will not take long. Hello, are you Gorge? Welcome to my humble establishment. Aha, do come in. Come in. Take a look around if you wish. I am Gorsh, the humble proprietor of this modest establishment. What is it that you sell? I sell many things, things sold to me by those in need. From trinkets to heirlooms, Gorsh has everything of taste and necessity that you may desire. <laughs> okay, I see. Let's, let's see what you have available then. Naturally, Gorsh is here to please. Might you be interested in this elegant hat? Quite the fashion in Waterdeep. No? Well, by all means, look about. Alcohol. Not a room to stay. However, he does identify, and we really could use that. A lot of items to identify. And to waste our money doing it, but we'll be able to make money selling it. Instead of resting for days upon days, and we'll waste time and potentially money we could be making from that. What do you actually sell? Oh, nice sling. A nymph cloak? Huh, interesting. Another gem bag. I suppose we could use that. Okay, let's see what we have, and then we'll see about selling. And possibly buying anything. Uh, all these have minor enchantments, nothing really that great. Plate mail, 
Delver's plate. And a full plate mail. Quite well armed. And gonna sell that later. I guess we could sell these bracers. What is this? It's Jade Hound. The origin of this item is tied to a melancholy ode popular in human taverns. About a young elven boy lost in a great wood. A spirit supposedly befriended him, providing companionship through the Astral Hound summoned by this figurine. But the boy eventually succumbed to loneliness anyway. Critics may ask how an elf could get lost in his own wood, but that and other discrepancies may not stop the story from being retold. The item's real history has been buried beneath the fiction. Hmm, this allows this figurine allows us to summon an astral hound once per day. That could be very useful, actually. Uh, oh, the horn of blasting. I remember when we picked this up. What is it about this horn? So it's been identified as, while many army engineers spent their time perfecting siege equipment, Julius Bagger delved into magical tomes for his engineering insights. Therein, he found ancient scriptures that detailed how to make, control, and wield sound waves. The Horn of Blasting was his first and only attempt at taking the theoretical magical knowledge to create a practical new technology. An apprentice blew through the horn, aimed in the direction of Julius, who had insisted on a useful experiment. The resulting shockwave that emanated from the horn first stunned and then tore poor Julius apart. Sonic wave once per day. Okay. Well, I am an elf. Although I'm not lost in any woods, I will keep this Jade Hound. We'll use it if we ever need it in combat. As for the other items, well, Helm of Charm Protection. This was behind the uh, picture in the uh, harpy, Harpist. The Harper Hall. So it protects against charm. Which actually is really good because vampires tend to charm you. I want Baldurin. Uh, Eyes of Truth, so Infravision. It's not as helpful. But he will be able to see better in the dark. Jahira, what are you wearing? Oh, she has the Dragon Helm. She should probably keep that. Okay, so what is this ring? Reaching Ring. Ring of Wizardry. Reaching Ring. This ring is masterfully enchanted, allowing the weather wearer to memorize more spells than normally possible. Can memorize one extra fifth spell, one extra sixth, and one extra seventh. Interesting. Well, we only have one person for that. She doesn't have any rings. She has a necklace, though. Helps uh, memorize an extra second. Hmm. So, fifth... Breach, uh, hold monster, or feeble mind is actually not a bad one either. But hold monster I can see being more helpful. And she has not reached 6th or 7th. Her spells, spell level. And these bracers to the death, interesting. I think we, ha we used to have one of those. Maybe I'll save one for Imowen. Yeah, they were pretty good bracers. And I will take the gem bag. No, it's taking up more space. And we can sell all these other items. If it must be done. Okay, so let's see what you have to sell. Eyes of truth. I guess we can sell it. Okay. Warhammer, plate mail, bracers to death. We have two bracers to the death for some reason. These are all things to sell. Brought us in quite a bit of coin. Any gem? Yeah, we should have some. Gems. Okay, I'm actually interested in this cloak you have. Nymph cloak. It helps uh, enhance one's charisma. And we still came out with more money in the end. There we go. There. I feel quite charismatic. Okay, so we're here on business, actually. 
I am, uh, I'm here to actually see Mavar. Ah, why did you not simply say so earlier? You have something written for me, yes? Hmm? Hmm, um, hmm. Yes, everything appears to be in order. You can see Mavar through the door in the back. So nice to meet you, my good friend. Took my letter of transfer. So I guess that's the front for this place. Or if this is Mavar. Probably should close the door. Explain your intent and make it good. Ah, what is it? Is there a fire? What's the trouble? I'm looking for Mavar. Well, he's gone down to the cellar, he has. Working on old poor Lin, he is. Mighty shame, that. Hmm. Gotta be a bottle around here somewhere. May I ask who you are? Me? Name's Gorvin. Don't suppose you have a bottle of rock gut stored away in there somewhere, do you? Uh, I suppose not. Who are you anyway? I'm Oren. I was transferred here. Transferred, eh? Well, that was bloody quick. Lin not even being cold or nothing. Oh well. Good to meet you, Oren. Yes, well, I'll be on my way. Well, I didn't miss you before you talked to me, did I? Or did I? Terrible thing, losing your memory. My medicine's gotta be here. I just had it, I'm sure. Hmm. Downstairs, he says. It will be done. It's just a... Uh, kind of shiver when we came downstairs. I can see that there's a secret door here. This must be where they are. That no Hello this there. person gives me a very I bad feeling. You've got reason to be bothering me because I'm quite busy, as you can see. Ah, poor Lynn passed out. I have a few minutes to spare then. Who are you? And why shouldn't I kill you? <sighs> no need for that. I'm here as reinforcement. Renal Bloodscalp sent me. And I am sure you have letters of authorization or that sort of thing. Irrelevant. How about we throw you on the rack and make sure you are who you say you are? Or perhaps not. Scared you, did I? Fear will keep you honest. You don't want to end up like Lynn here, with me having to test your honesty. Difficult to do with certainty. Hmm. Better that he die an honest man, than live as a liar and endanger our soul. Such thoughts are akin to mine, but I will hold you no closer knowing you are as cold as I. Instead, a simple quest to test your worth and pat our coffers. I suppose I should make the task something you wouldn't balk at completely? How about a little petty larceny amidst the stuffed robes over at the Temple of Talos? I require the amulet worn by the weather mistress. Yes, it looked lovely on her and I have a beautiful, shelty spaniel cross that it will adorn just as well. You want it for your dog? You need not kill her to get it. She likely removes it in the night. As pleasing as it is, even if it would leave a welt the size of a melon if slept upon. Now get moving. I've told you the mark. You do the rest. Pick it from her in her sleep if you must, but do not bother me again without the goods. You can't be serious, Oren. I cannot approve of this theft then we would be on the same level as these thieves. Stealing into the temple of the Storm God is unlikely to earn you the gratitude of the Talassian priesthood, Orin. Best we proceed carefully with this endeavor. Yes, 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 shh. Looks a little too obvious when we're all discussing something right in hushed whispers in front of him. Certainly. This person is a sick murderer. A very cold feeling from him. Even though I tried Direct to as you will. ingratiate myself with him. No, he's very bad news. Explain Hello? Your intent and make it good. I don't recognize you. What do you want? Who are you? I'm Zinthris. And let's just be getting this straight now. So there's no mistaking it later, alright? I'm the senior cut purse. Me. Not nobody else. Try to slide in on me, and I'll stick ya. Got it? Fine, fine, I'll leave you alone. Run down the road for, on fire for all I care. This is the type of people you hang out with, Yushimo. I have a very good feeling these people at all. It was better in the Shadow Thieves. Whatever they call it. Building? Fortress? 
It will be done. Hello? Good to see a like-minded friend to be. Everyone has been pretty nervous here. I think Mavar has gone mad, he has. Hmm. Gone mad. Seems to me he's been mad for a while. No, he has the feeling of a cold-blooded murderer to me. I don't like this place. Thieves are not good, but these ones are murderous thieves, or at least the leader is. Maybe a few of the others. Oh, uh, Yoshimo explains to me this is where they test themselves against the locks and traps. Certainly. Hello. Yes. Why, hello there. Hmm. If it isn't a new face, how very thrilling. Who are you? I'm called Anishai, my dear. Assassin extraordinaire and shadow thief of good standing. You, however, are quite a stranger to me. New, are you? How delightful. What shall I call you? You can call me by my name, Orin. Well, I'm very pleased to meet you, Orin. But there truly aren't enough fellow sisters in the Shadow Thieves. Although we are amongst the very best, aren't we? Yes, well, I'll be going. Already? How sad. Uh, Yoshimo. Yoshimo actually says he's eager to try unlocking all these. These doors are obviously meant to test the thief's lockpicking. Okay, then have at it, Yoshimo. You're right behind me, right? Jump on he my says you get to keep the gold if you unlock it. Which is pretty good, actually, because this kind of feels like we're in a dungeon. Make sure you look for those traps, Yoshimo. Without doubt. I've hit a lot of traps before. Oh, he's happy with his haul from this one. I'm a little surprised they're allowing you to keep everything. It's quite a bit of gold. Ah! Yoshimo, I warned you about that. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Okay. <laughs> yes. Please watch those traps. A lot more exciting than any circus. More, more, I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Oh, he says they're all trapped. Well, at least you see them now. Oh. This can't now. be right. Huh? Oh, nice. He says he picked up a bunch of magical gear. Well, we are transferred to this place, but I still don't know if this is right. A buckler with minor enchantments, stud leather armor, short sword. It's not been identified. Ah. Decent short sword, but we'll have to sell it since no use to us, since no one uses it. I wonder if you could use this buckler. Yes, should help. And the studded leather armor. Well, Yoshima says it's not as good as his orc armor. And it's not as good as the enchantment on mine, so. Quickly and precisely. Okay, let's, um, so I want us to go to the... He wants us to go to the temple of Talos and steal a gem. Okay, I don't know how we're going to do this. Well, let's go exploring upstairs.